Hi, I want to do a practice problem with you um, using the ice table to calculate the equilibrium constant. Uh, if you didn't watch the first video, watch that. It explains everything. Um, but I thought you might want one more example to make sure that you understand it well. Um, so here's my chemical reaction. And then let me tell you what they're giving us. Um, it says that suppose the tank initially contains our hydrogen sulfide gas um, at a pressure of 10 atm. Ooh, a pressure. So this means that we're going to be using our partial pressures and a temperature of 800 Kelvin. Um, when the reaction reaches equilibrium, the partial pressure of the S2 is 0.02 atm. Um, so that's going to be our equilibrium concentration. Let's go ahead and set up the ice table initial change in equilibrium. So pressure, partial pressure, remember, is going to be 10. And that's for the hydrogen gas. So that's what we start with. We don't have anything in the product side yet. So there is where I put my zero. Now the change, be really careful. We have to look at those coefficients. We're going to lose an amount of our reactant, but notice it's a two. So it'll be minus two X, and then we're going to gain the products. Well, there's a two right there. So for every two moles that we lose of the reactant, we're going to gain a plus two moles of the hydrogen gas plus one mole of the S2. So again, the easy way to do that change is um, you look at the coefficient and then just put the X next to it. We will lose the reactants and gain the products as this finally comes into equilibrium. Lose that amount here, gain the amount on the products. Okay, and then E of course is really easy. All we have to do is add those together. So we're going to have 10 minus 2x, 0 plus 2x, 2x, 0 plus 1x, 1x. Then they gave us um, another piece of information. It says that the partial pressure of the S2 is 0 0.02. So the S2 is 0 0.02. Well, S2 is 1x, and that equals 0 0.02 molar. Pretty cool. Remember, there are three components in an ice table. It's going to be K, the equilibrium constant, the initial concentration, the equilibrium concentration. So they, in essence, gave us I initial and the equilibrium E. Um, now we can find K, we can find K. So let's go ahead and put in our um, substitute X for everything so that we can get our numbers. We're going to have two times 0 0.02, will give us 0 0.04. This is 0 0.02, and then over here 10, minus two times 0 0.02 is going to give us 9.96. Okay, so there are the equilibrium concentrations. All we have to do now is plug that into the equilibrium expression. K will equal products over reactants. So our product, ooh, be so careful. These are partial pressures. So this is going to be a Kp, the partial pressure of the hydrogen and there's a two, so that's squared. Just be really careful on that, that you don't forget, take that coefficient, it becomes the exponent, times the partial pressure of sulfur gas, that's understood to be a one, divided by the partial pressure of the hydrogen sulfide, and that's also squared because of that two. Now I can take these numbers and plug everything in. So this will be, the um, partial pressure of hydrogen right there was 0 0.04, and that's squared, times the partial pressure of the sulfur, O2, that's to the power of one, divided by the partial pressure of my hydrogen sulfide, and that one is squared. Okay, so plug that into our calculator, and the answer is 3.2, times 10 to the minus seven. And remember that's K. That's our equilibrium expression. That's the ratio of products over reactants. So the follow-up question is, is that reactant or product favored? Well, K is less than one. Remember products over reactants. Um, if it's less than one, it means we have a lot more reactants than we do products. So this is going to be reactant favored. Not a lot of those reactants are going to change to the products. And you can see that we start at 10 and we end at 9.96. Definitely reactant favored. Okay, good practice. Have a nice day. Thank you.